Stretching across Saudi Arabia, reaching Iraq and Jordan in its north and Oman and Yemen in its south, the Arabian Desert dominates the Arabian Peninsula. Today we're taking you to a part of this region called the Rab al Khali Desert, literally a desert within a desert. The British explorer Wilfred Thesiger crossed it in the mid 20th century and he said it was named Rab al Khali or Empty Quarter because it's so enormous and so desolate. But a closer look at this desert reveals much more than sand and emptiness. There's a place in the United Arab Emirates where it's a destination. This is the Rab al Khali Desert, known as the Empty Quarter. It's the largest continuous sandmass in the world. It stretches across Saudi Arabia, Oman, Yemen, and the United Arab Emirates. While some view it as a harsh and barren terrain, this man couldn't live without it and calls it home. If you'd like to be away from the city and from the noise, you can have the peaceful over here because when you go out on the desert, you cannot hear anything. No cars, no airplanes, no noise, no nothing. You just you can hear yourself while you're breathing. Nestled within the desert is the Casa Al Sarab Resort. And Amro is the activity manager there. I love the desert because the people, they think it's an empty, there is nothing here, but there is a life and it's especially on the night. It's a challenge to live, that's true, but for me as a person, I love challenges and I love to be on the desert. My, my favorite activity here to do is the dune bashing. For me as a person, I love in general the adventure and I love driving. Most of the time, when the guests are shouting during the dune bashing, that means they are enjoying. If you look at the desert, actually you think it's empty and there is no life here. But in fact, there is a big life, there is a wildlife even. Hello, camel. We are. You see, this is the baby camel, I told you about it. This is actually our camel farm where we have around 30 camels. They are mixed between male and female. They call it desert chip actually because while he's walking on the sand, he don't get stuck or he don't sink, he's like floating or his hoof is flat. And the second thing helping him to climb the dunes, the back legs actually, he has a three knees, not one. He has a three. If you would like to have the experience of the culture in Abu Dhabi, you need to go to the desert because the desert is a part of almost all of the Arabic countries and it's our culture. 